Jupiter should have larger, more impressive rings than Saturn because it's larger. However, according to a new UC Riverside study, Jupiter's huge moons prevent that image from lighting up the night sky. A group of experts created a dynamic computer simulation that took into consideration the orbits of Jupiter's four primary moons, as well as the planet's own orbit, and the time it takes for the rings to develop. Saturn's rings are mostly composed of ice, some of which may have originated from comets, which are likewise mostly composed of ice. If the moons are large enough, their gravity can throw ice out of a planet's orbit, or shift the ice's orbit sufficiently to crash with the moons. They discovered that Jupiter's Galilean moons, one of which is the biggest moon in our solar system, would swiftly obliterate any huge rings that may have formed. Our solar system's four biggest planets, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and Jupiter, all have rings. However, the rings of Neptune and Jupiter are so thin that they are impossible to see with typical stargazing tools. Coincidentally, some of the most recent images from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope show Jupiter with its faint rings visible. And because we couldn't detect them, astronomers didn't know these fleeting rings existed until the Voyager spacecraft passed by. Rings help astronomers understand the history of a planet by providing evidence of past impacts with moons or comets. The shape and size of the rings, as well as the material composition, provide information on the sort of event that generated them. UCR astrophysicist Stephen Kane, who led the research, said, For us astronomers, they are blood splatter on the walls of a crime scene. When we look at the rings of giant planets, it's evidence that something catastrophic happened to put that material there. If you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, like, subscribe, check our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.